So this is the L star, this little board right here. And it was developed by a guy named Jock Gudschmidt. And I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I've only spoken to him online in emails, never verbally, so I'm not completely sure of the pronunciation of his name. But what he's built is a 6502 computer, RAM chip, and a parallax propeller chip, where the propeller chip takes over all of the glue logic, as well as emulating a ROM chip, a keyboard adapter, a serial port, and a television interface. So here you can see I've got it hooked up to my retro television, and I have it hooked up to my PS2 keyboard, and you can see if I hit space, enter spaces, meanwhile it's displaying. Um, it has, uh, uh, the firmware is also held in the propeller chip, uh, which is able to uh, emulate a ROM, and in this case it's emulating the ROM of the Apple One. So when you turn this thing on, it comes up and it boots into the uh, WAS monitor. And you can enter in programs in hex and then get to tell them to run. Now, in this case, I didn't enter this program. Instead, what I did was the serial cable here is connected to this PC. And here's the WAS monitor program there. And this is TerraTerm. So what you can do is you just tell TerraTerm to upload the file. And it is, it's as though you typed it in on the keyboard. So now let's run this thing. So to run something on the WAS monitor, you type in 0280, the address, R. And I got it wrong. Because the WAS monitor is uppercase only. There we go. There we go. All right. So it says was. There's jobs. There's the Apple logo. There's the two of them with the, probably the Apple II. It's almost impossible to tell. There's an Apple II. There is a Macintosh. iMac. iPod. MacBook Pro, the next 30, dot, dot, dot. And then it just loops right back around to Waz, Jobs, the logo. You're holding an Apple One, so that's an Apple One, sorry. And it just keeps looping around, okay? So that is the um, L-Star running the emulation of the Apple One. And it's a 6502, so it's a real 6502, real memory chip. The emulation is purely the firmware that makes it think it's an Apple One. Now, supposedly you can upload firmware that simulates an OSI Challenger and several other computers. So, we'll see. Uh, you know, uh, the other thing you could do with this is, there's a this is a complete expansion pin here uh, of all the address bus and data bus signals as well as CPU signals. So you could build a stacking card and put like a 6522 on there, have some IOs, add some glue logic, and you're off to the races with further expansion on this thing, and a very small footprint as well. So it's a pretty cool little machine. In the description, I'm going to put links to the project so you can take a look. It's relatively inexpensive, so if you want to futz around with a retro computer, it's a really goof-proof way to do it, and you get a keyboard and everything. Um, you know, not not this keyboard. It doesn't come with a keyboard. I mean, a keyboard interface. Uh, I had to really sweat it to put a keyboard on my retro computer, which I should probably do an inter uh, uh, a uh, a video on sometime. All right.